Regarded as one of the happiest countries in the world, Bhutan has its own charm. As you cross this gate and enter Bhutan, you see a drastic transition. Anywhere you go, you sense tranquility in the air. There is no race against time. Traffic comes to a halt the moment you step on a pedestrian crossing. In Bhutan, keeping one's living place clean, safe and beautiful is considered a part of nation building. First of all, you need to complete the immigration formalities. Please pause and read the description below for details. After completion of the immigration process, I went to a Buddhist temple nearby to get a glimpse of their culture. Finally, after 2 o'clock, we began our journey towards Thimphu. Only an hour into our journey, and we were really lucky to find snow on the road. Around 80 kilometers from Funchaling lies the Chuka check post, where documents will be checked for the second time. We ultimately reached Thimphu at 8 pm and checked in at the Thori Resort. Located on a hilltop, the place offered an impressive bird's eye view of the city glowing in light. The next morning, we first headed towards the Thimphu Immigration Office to obtain special permits for visiting Punakha, Phubjikha and the Ha Valley. In Bhutan, a zong is a fortified building that includes both administrative and monastic institutions.
the Tashi Chozong is the biggest landmark in Thimphu and houses several important departments of the Bhutan government and that of the king. Next, we went to the handicrafts market, which is known for its colorful vibes. There are hundreds of shops lined in a row for over a mile stretch and selling authentic traditional crafts. After spending an hour in the market area, we advanced towards the Memorial Chorten, one of the most prominent religious structures in the city. The most sought after attraction in Thimphu is the Buddha Dor Denma, and we saved the best for last. The huge 52 meter tall statue overlooks the entrance to the Thimphu Valley and is one of the largest statues of the Buddha in the world. On visiting this place, one is bound to make a virtual visit to a spiritual sphere.
as daylight fades and artificial light takes dominance the buddha enlightens himself again in a new way and casts a spell of peace and harmony over the entire valley